perfect. doesn't play that well. Someone has tampered with your music, Peter. neighborhood for the kids to grow up in and oh um hercules bad dog i must apologize has he eaten them all <laughs> don't worry it's just a few nuts i didn't know they could jump that high neither did i hmm he must enjoy a challenge <gasps> got to be careful time for operation grizzly grub they're gonna love this henry you're supposed to be upstairs. But I want to meet Mr. and Mrs. Bossy. Crisp? How sweet. Mossy, not Bossy. But, Mum, isn't that what you always call them? <coughs> Peter, get Mrs. Mossy a drink. Right away, Mum. <coughs> Oh dear, come on Mrs. Mossy, let's get you cleaned up. And you boys, go to bed. Certainly. Good night Mr. Mossy, I hope Mrs. Mossy gets better soon. <laughs> hmm, Grizzly Grub, eh? Haven't seen one of these in a long time. I dare you. And anyway, you're supposed to be in bed. Oh, what a shame. We've had a performance by Peter. How about Henry? Surely you can do something too, Henry. Oh, yeah. I can do karate. hi -ya! Whoa! No! <laughs> Very good, Henry. But I have my own special martial art. Mossy Kido. Bedtime, Henry. It's so easy. Look, there's a mountain lion right there! Uh -huh. Whoa. 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 No way! No way! I am This is not a mountain lion's natural habitat. Oh, it could have escaped from a zoo. Hmm, good point. There's no mountain lion! Are you having a laugh, Henry? No, look! It's on this side! Whoa. 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 You were too slow! It's gone! What a great day! Soggy Sid had to cancel the lesson because nobody had their swimming costumes. Ralph, you're really pathetic. Oh, yeah. Well, this will really scare you. The school rang my mum. We've got an extra swimming lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow? And we're doing our badges. Five point. 
5.3, 5.5. Ten past eight, Henry. Time for school. Swimming today. <sighs> Keep this to yourself, Andrew. A shark just escaped from the aquarium. <gasps> A shark? Yes! A super-intelligent mutant shark! And it's headed this way! So stay alert! Oh, Henry says there might be a sh sh shark in our pool! Sharks are saltwater creatures. They don't like chlorine. I don't like chlorine, but I still swim in it. Hmm, good point. <laughs> That's not even as good as the werewolf! I'm just warming up! <laughs> I'm going for my 1,000 metres today. <laughs> right, you lot. Get in the pool. Henry, don't tell me. Sorry, sir. I can't swim today because... Enough excuses, Henry, you horrible child. I don't care if you've got a slight touch of leprosy or bubonic plague. You're swimming today. Get changed now. I'd love to, sir, but uh, unfortunately I've forgotten my trunks. Spare costumes. Put one on. I can't wear any of these! I won't! Get changed! It's so easy being me! I'm Horrid Henry! Uh, uh, uh. Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> Spider! and get rid of the spiders. Can I watch Mutant Max? Yes. And stay up till my parents come home? Yes. And eat all the ice cream in the fridge? Yes, just get rid of that... that... thing! Deal! I think I'll take them to school tomorrow. Right, back to bed, both of you, now! But we agreed! Tough! Deal's off. A oh, simple thank you would have been nice. If the deal's off, you can have the spiders back. <laughs> Henry, maybe you should stop. It's not nice to scare others. She broke her promise. True. Grown-ups shouldn't make promises and not keep them. <laughs> You repellent, repulsive, repugnant, reptilian rat! Massive Mutant Max! Parents! Coming, ready or not! Right, you little worm, I'm going to take you apart limb by limb! Henry? <gasps> I was just leaving. Oh, you poor things. Oh, what a mess. Well, we certainly won't be having her to babysit again. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, don't we? <laughs> Not in my lifetime. It's so easy being me. I'm Middle Ages and Beyond. Modern times? Definitely not. Special exhibits? Aha! Dinosaurs! Hello? Anyone in there? <laughs> Uh-oh! Ow! Hey? Oh! Ow! Oh! <laughs> wow! Hey! Want your claw? Oh no! <laughs> 
away. He's wearing a blue and yellow stripy T-shirt. Somewhere. There he is. Oh no! Gotcha. What? It's the naughty children's room for you. Oh, oh, there must be some mistake. Peter's been a perfect little angel all day. Mum, this is definitely the boy. We recognise his T-shirt. But oh, no, I haven't done anything. It's lovely. Now don't worry, Peter. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> That'll teach Peter to dress like me. We are coming to the culmination of our tour, a 1950s replica of this building when it was a town hall. Miss, I was wrong. This museum isn't boring at all. Oh, Henry, well done. And next time we'll go to the ice cream factory. Yes! Oh! Henry, you horrid boy. It's so easy. Yes, Miss Oddbold. Well, I must confess I did not expect to see you here. Oh, uh, yes, Miss Oddbold. You have come about. Yes, Miss Oddbold. Well, I must say I'm rather pleased to see you here, Henry. Yes, Miss Oddbold. You are Miss Oddbold? Yes. I mean, I know they do say never judge a book by its cover, but your volumes have been... Uh, shall we say, remarkably consistent in their presentation. You are, Miss Oddbod. I haven't finished, Henry. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, remarkably consistent in their presentation and would never have led one to believe that there were such hidden depths. Well, what do you have to say to that, Henry? Uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. Right, well... It's early days. Now then, let's get on with the matter in hand, shall we? Yes, Miss Oddbod. Take these. Yes, Miss Oddbod. And report back to my office same time tomorrow morning. Yes, Miss Oddbod. Well, off you go then. Yes, Miss Oddbod. <laughs> to do after this one. Thanks, Al. Oh, good you, Henry. Good on what? Steal what is rightfully mine. So like what you're talking about? That was my job. I was born to do it. Then go ahead and finish it. Oh, I'm not playing your little game anymore, Henry. Boys, you're making the noise. Uh. Henri le Hurid. Yes, Madame Tutu? What are you doing, Henri le Hurid? I'm doing my lines, Madame Tutu. <sighs> and we're watching him, Madame Tutu. I think, little boys, that perhaps you would be happier on the story carpet. This isn't over till it's over, Ambassador. <sighs> Search me. Greetings, Lord High Majesty and Ambassador. Oh, don't you stop, Brian. Maybe you'd like to do my lines for me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so funny. You! You thought 
thought these were your lines. And? You don't know, do you? No, what? That you're an ambassador. Am I? That's what it says here. Look, there's a specs for your name. My name's Henry, and I'm an ambassador. I'm an ambassador! Ambassador Henry! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. There has to be a way. Come on, everyone, into the clubhouse. Margaret, what? You have a DVD player in your clubhouse, right? So, what's it to you? Well, I was wondering if I... Well, if you wouldn't mind if I could watch my DVD on it. Depends. What have you got? It's, um, a spy film. I don't like spy films. Apart from Gross Class Zero, of course. No, wait! It is Gross Class Zero! Look! Hmm. All right, then. Right, I'll just put the film on and... Uh, not so fast, Henry. We have to vote on whether or not the club members want to see the film. Yeah, Henry. But there isn't much time before dinner. We've got to hurry. All those in favour of watching Gross Class Zero. Fine, let's start. <coughs> All those against? Motion carried. Finally. Now we just need to agree what you're giving me in return for letting you use my DVD player. What I'm giving you? But if you want to watch your film here, you have to let me be the leader of the Purple Hang Gang for a week. What? No way! Fine. Then you can watch your film somewhere else. Yeah, Henry. Oh, all right! You can be leader for a week. Now can we just watch? Annie like, has to pass around the popcorn. But you're right next to it! Do you want to see the film or not? Yes, yes! I'll do it! Here. But can we just watch the film now, please? Put it on then and hurry up about it. Yeah, Henry. What are you waiting for? when you really wanted to watch Happy Hippos just like a baby. Yeah, Henry, a baby. Oh, no! <laughs> I must have mixed up the DVDs! <laughs> happy, happy, happy from our heads to our toes. Henry, why are you so late? We've all been waiting for you. Who cares? You'll care when you lose your pocket money for another week. Here's your DVD, worm. The bumper wumper nappy wappy soft rubbish for wormy babies. Mum! Stop being horrid, Henry. Oh, that reminds me. I picked up a film at the library today. Gross Class Zero. <gasps> you like Gross Class Zero? Of course. I used to love it when I was a kid. Snort, bogey, fart, poo. We're all sick and so are you. <laughs> Can I watch it with you? Well, that was the plan. It's much too late now. If we'd had dinner on time, you could have watched it together. But now it's way past your bedtime. Henry, the part is practically yours. But I don't deserve the lead. Not really. I'm sure someone else would be much better in such a um a fantastic role. Lacum. Um Andrew! What? Hmm, very well. Andrew can audition too. If anyone else would like to audition, please come and put your name down on my list now. Children, please, form an orderly queue. What's the matter, Henry? 
Someone clipped your fairy wings. <laughs> Not funny. Oh, I've got to turn anxious Andrew into a great actor before the auditions, or I really will be king of the fairies. Hi, Andrew. Uh, I bet you can't wait for the auditions. Uh, yeah, you'll be great. Um, I'm quite anxious about it, actually. Andrew, what you should be worried about is not getting the part. I should. Of course. This is your chance to step up. Be a man. Make your parents proud. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Imagine how great it'll feel to conquer your fears and go out onto the stage. I'll do it. Like a king. What did you say? I'll do it. You will? Uh, I mean, of course you will. It's hardly worth you auditioning at all. I'm bound to get the part. I'm a born actress. Oh, no. Margaret might get the part. Don't worry, she won't, because we're going to turn you into a star. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Team Andrew. Aerobic Al. Don't worry, Andrew. I'll soon whip you into shape. Brady Bryan. I'm going to help you learn your audition speech. Greedy Graham. You've got to eat to keep your strength up. And Beefy Burn. Uh, but what are you doing here? I don't know. One, two, three, three and a half, four. Sorry. It's so easy being me. I'm hard.